Hey, Mario. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Ah, very good. All good, I guess. Awesome, awesome. How was your day today? Mario? Really good because I, I went to a trip with my uh, little daughter. Uh, trip with, uh, really? With the, school, with the school. Oh, an excursion, a, a trip, a yeah. road trip, a yeah. road trip. Yeah, an excursion. I went to San Blas. So what? I, I spent all my day. The whole her. day? The whole day with yeah. her? Really? The whole day, yeah. <laughs> Did you build a sand castle? Uh, no, uh, San Blas is uh, uh, is in the mountain. Wait. San Blas is, yeah, San Blas oh, is. Oh, I thought the beach. No, no, San Blas is is uh, it's near to the Cerro Verde. Oh, really? I, Where I the thought. Where the Cristal is? Uh huh. Have you heard the uh, La Casa de Cristal? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay. That is the the place. So, oh, San Blas. okay. Wait a minute. That's a farm. Uh, it's, it is a uh, cabañas. How do you say cabañas? A hut. Yeah. Really? Oh. Wait! 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 Oh, sorry. There was a smell like paint. There was a little paint and I was concerned. <laughs> it's just that, as I have told you before, one of my kids goes to uh, Senar. Oh, yeah. He's learning to, to draw and he just made a great drawing. Okay. I, I, I always told him that I sent him a TikTok a long time ago about how to draw trees yeah. and a road you know it's a road and and on the sides you have like pine trees yeah they, they, they make it they make it see seem so so easy you know on tiktok yeah. so i told him hey this this looks easy you should try it and finally he did he tried now now that he has learned some techniques and it was really good really good for a 13 year old i love this video where there's a guy saying my drawings through time and he starts six years old seven years old eight years old and it goes moving man and then it becomes so realistic you know you can see the face and everything. wow it's painting is amazing uh, i have a friend uh, that he has uh, uh two boys actually the two the the older has twenty six, and the the smallest has uh, nineteen twenty. But the thing that uh, my friend uh, he study kind of uh, he also like to to draw, and the both uh, boys also like to draw. And I went to his house, and in the uh, living, they have a lot of uh, paintings. Paintings. Yeah, paintings with the uh, what that the three have have done, but the three of them. The of, three of them. Yeah, the three of them have done any of them, but uh, the the small. The youngest, the Mafekenio, yeah, the youngest is uh like a crazy. Is is the better because is the he best. Imagined the, okay, is the best because he's imagining the the thing and he drawing. Oh, so he and, pic he pictures at first. Yeah, on his and mind, and then he commences to he starts. Uh, uh huh. 
to to draw the the paint. He started in the uh, I don't know if it's the Emiliano. Oh, I heard. Yeah, I heard about that school too. And they in the Emiliano in the uh, August, I guess they make a a feria. A fair, uh huh? Uh, yeah, a science fair, something like that, where they present, uh, because they have all the, or two weeks when they present uh, for artistic or for science and some. The thing that this, this boy, he participated since he was in the sixth grade and he won every year but they they participate by the separate from the bachillerato for the high school and the and the basic he tried because every every year they are uh, doing uh, different techniques or they are using different techniques that the teacher uh, taught them the thing that when he was in the in the ninth grade, they, they, they always they make a a cartel. How do you say a cartel? They used to make some sort of sign. Yeah, for, but but it's for the announcement of uh -huh. the of the, the contest. The contest. Yeah, yeah. It was a contest. Uh -huh. They made the this cartel. They make this. They commenced to participate with that. And the the teachers uh, decide which of the cartel has won. And and this is the the representation for the uh, for this for this week. The when he was in ninth grade, he tried to, to do it with using paint good evening using paint but uh, the teacher decided to uh, choose uh, the another one because the another one was for the uh, the last year of, of high school and he was using a technique that doesn't belong to him in that time but since since he was in Six or seven grade, he won every time. Uh, or the teacher chose, 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 chose. Good. The teacher chose, chose, chose the uh, his design. His design, the most creative. Yeah, he, this guy is, is really uh, a prodigy. Smart. He's a prodigy. Yeah. He's a a prodigy. He's a crazy boy. And that, that's starting right now, uh, plastic arts, I guess. You know, I have seen videos of people painting with plastic art, but it's diff there's a difference between painting with regular paint and then using other stuff to paint. And they use some palettes, you know, they don't use brushes anymore, they use brush at the same time, but, at the, but also they use palettes. Uh, some sort of um, utensils from from the kitchen, and then they end up painting a, our face. I mean, there's so much detail on what they do is crazy. Well, and one thing about prod prodigies is that they have a weird character. You know, their 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 mood, how they behave, is totally different. Than the rest, I'm hoping that one of my kids is a prodigy because he doesn't fit. He he was he's just like me, but worse. He's like me, but worse when I was his age. Right now, the main problem is that he's suffering bullying at school, mm -hmm. and bullying not just from the classmates, but from the from but the, the teachers. Teachers. I mean, it's not bullying. It's just they let. They let things happen. They just because they think that he is the problem. So 
I, I'm, I have a pending conversation with this with the teacher, you know, with his teacher, because they are blaming him of everything. I mean, how can you encourage? How can you encourage a kid to pay attention in class, to to do his stuff, you know, to write the class and everything, if they are bothering him, if they are yeah. giving him nicknames and so many things, you know. So the the main issue, the only problem with my kid is that his temper, you know, his car, his uh, mood, is always explosive. When when he gets tired when he gets fed up he reacts like hulk just like that uh, i guess the i guess the problem uh that, that he reacts like that is because he he tried to keep Analyze. or maybe to avoid all the all the time and when when you are uh it's like a you are putting some in in a glass and you uh, you put uh, uh, demasiado uh, too much. Uh, yeah, you put too much, and then that's that, how do you say rebalsar? <laughs> I got stuck too. Yeah, I was wondering how do you say rebalsar. Okay, oh but that's uh, the point, and, and, and that's happening when when the the people are like that. When, when you are trying to avoid the, the problem mm -hmm. or, or trying to overflow uh -huh. to, to not to pay attention maybe but anyhow if somebody has uh, it's like a, the drop of water that uh, fall in the uh, in the stone you know when the drop of water is falling in the stone on the time there will be a hole. And yeah. that's the problem. When you are receiving that, in that in some point you will have to explode. And I guess this this is the problem. I that's guess it's the better. I mean, yeah, because he is very loving, you know, he's very caring for others. He's very he's very smart actually. When I'm when I'm repairing the engine, because I'm still repairing the engine or <laughs> doing some stuff he loves to be with me i i go like hey give me a 10 you know give me a 10 and, and he he goes like i i already have it here i'm like okay thank you okay this i have the 12 like a, that that's a 12 like Dan. he knows what the what you will request yeah he, he knows what's the next key that i'm gonna use you know um next um brace that i'm gonna use it, it's amazing and, and and he understands complex things but when it comes to analyze a problem he gets lost so i have to work with him that's all that's all and there's nothing more important for children than knowing that your dad cares that your mom yeah. cares about you it doesn't matter the rest of the world doesn't matter, but if your dad and your mom gives you love, that's all. Yeah. <clears throat> that's all. And that's a problem that I have with the elder one. Uh, my oldest kid, um, he's fed up. He's tired of being accused, you know, going, listening like, hey, you know what? Your brother just hit me. Hey, uh, la su directora, right? Hey, you tell your father that your brother did this every day, every day. So when I go and pick them up at school, First thing I hear from my eldest son is, Xavier did this. Xavier fought. Xavier hit a boy, another, another girl, a girl, you know, a boy. Oh, my God. Every day. So we just have to get just to. Okay. Thank you for the chat, Mario. That was amazing. And that's what I expect from everybody. You know, I shouldn't be talking. You should be talking about any topic. But let's start the class. We are five now somebody left that's weird okay carlos alfredo palomo pineda is not here christian natalie eraso rogel okay diana elizabeth chereguiño martinez diego armando lopez rivas present thank you are you working 
Yeah, all the uh, months in February, in March too. Okay. The extra hours. Doing overtime. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Nope. Juan Carlos Rivas Joel. Hey, good. Juan Carlos. I haven't seen your face ever. <laughs> you could turn on your camera one day. That would be great. Okay. This camera is no work. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Manuel Antonio Palma. I'm here right now. Marilena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Here, teacher. Oh, Villeda, there you are. Thank you. Yeah, Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Thank you. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. I wonder what happened to Nelson. Man. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. Hey, good. Thank you. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Excellent. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Not today. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Wow. Well, congratulations, Wendy. You are on 91% of your attendance. Thank you. You, have, you haven't missed not even one class. So you're good. Amazing. You're the best, the best attendance. Thank you. Okay, let's see. So tonight we have to talk about the how to bridge the generation gap. That's the topic, you know, it's like we have discussed many things about the generations, the X generation, um, the baby boomers, the silent generation. So just to warm up. Just to warm up, we're going to use a topic. How were you raised? How were you raised? Let me just write this word. Um. <laughs> Okay, how were you raised? What do I mean by how were you raised? What values were you taught? You know, um, was it only only words? Good evening. Hey, good evening. Was it only words? Just a sight? <laughs> like me, just the side with the Bible on hand, <laughs> with the chancleta, with the chancla. How were you raised? In my case, I was raised by my grandma. So really quick. My parents got divorced in 1986. Yeah, 1986. Wait, no, 1989, 1989. My mom left to the States, running away, running away from my father, supposedly. She left us. And I was raised by my grandma from my father's. I hope you pay attention. There's grandma in this. Mucha gramática, so. I was raised by my father's mother. So my grandmother from my father's. So she was very strict, but she was a woman who was raised by nuns. Okay, everybody knows what is a nun? Right? She was raised... Uh huh, a madre <laughs> by a nun, una hermana o monja, okay? And she was raised in a hospice ever since she was two years old. Since she was, since she was no, four years old. She, since she was four years old, they took her to the hospice and she was raised by nuns. So 
what I loved the most about my grandma is that she used to sing. She could sing because she was on the chorus of, of the hospice, right? She was never given an adoption. She was never given an adoption because they loved her. They loved my grandma. So when she turned 18, she was released from the hospice. She didn't want to leave the hospice, but one of her sisters took her out of the hospice and she met my, my grandfather. My grandfather was a descendant from Spanish people, you know, and he was a carpenter. So with all this background, I was raised with the Bible on hand, you know. Everything had to do with Jesus, with believing in God and everything. But at the same time, she used to help us because she loved me and my brother because we just the two of us weren't with her. The other two brothers went with my mother's mother, with my mother's mother, which is my other grandma. So that's the way I was raised, you know, with advice knowing how to work ever since i was seven years old i used to go and deliver bread in santa ana i used to go and deliver bread from panaderia los eduardos in santa ana and i used to wake up really early at 5 a.m so and then after that i used to go to school and when i returned by noon i had to be back at home to go and deliver tortillas right so i loved ah i didn't like that i didn't like that honestly i always thought i'm not gonna be poor all of my life i'm not gonna be poor my whole life i have to become something else but i never had a dad that was next to me you know my father was always working and so it was really difficult but the main principles that i got the main values that i got is to believe in God and do no harm. Listen, do no harm to others. Do no harm to others. On the other hand, on the other hand, help, help the others. So, which is more important is like whatever was given to you for free, give it for free. Whatever was given to you for free, give it for free. Don't charge if you got that for free. So that's me. Uh, that's the way I was raised. Now, talking about generations, I wasn't raised with uh, TV. You know, we had our first TV when I was like 12 or 13 I never had a TV before that was amazing I mean and of course it became an addiction <laughs> watching TV uh, bien siento que estoy hablando solo porque ningún estudiante tiene su cámara encendida este es, me siento raro <laughs> come on guys no. No, teacher, I'm listening. Come on, sing to me. Sing to me, Susana. You are not alone. I am <laughs> But, here with you. <laughs> no, si lo estamos escuchando, teacher. Teacher, I'm just eating. Uh, just, okay, uh, don't worry. I got I you. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the topic. Why is it important to, to know how were you raised? Because there's a big difference. Now let's compare. If you... Juan Carlos? Yes, Juan Carlos? No? Okay. Okay. So I, I guess everybody is a father here, right? Everybody has kids except Diana, I think. I don't know. Um, let me see. Diego has a baby, yeah. Wendy doesn't have babies, too. Okay. Okay. How are you raising your kids? Or kids are raised nowadays. Okay. 
So how are you raising your kids or kids are raised nowadays compared to your case? Okay, that's the whole point, compare. I hope you're getting the idea because you're about to explain this in groups. Com do a comparison. Nowadays, kids, how am I raising my kids? You know, I have a big problem. I have three kids, 13-year-old, 10-year-old, and eight years old. Okay? Man, it's, being a father is really difficult. Now I understand my parents, and I don't judge them. I don't judge them because... You don't understand how difficult it is to be a father until you become a father. It's a huge responsibility. Number one, if you don't do it, if you don't put your shoes, your parent's shoes, then you make a huge mistake. And later, it's more difficult to deal with their, with their character, you know. So what has changed? God is in the middle, yes, still. God is in the middle of the family. But the addictions to cell phones, the distractors, you know, cell phones, tablets, the TV, the internet, all of this in still friends. Friends are still an influence on this generation. But the main problem is, that kids are very easy to influence from YouTubers, from, how do you call the other guys? You have YouTubers, you have influencers. No, the name, the name, influencers. So they influence on your kids, most likely negatively. Negatively. Most likely negatively. So that's the difficult part. In and... If you are not careful, well, even if you're careful, sometimes your kids may watch something and that will become a parameter for them. Let me give you a clear example. My 13-year-old, my 13-year-old Christopher, he saw some videos about science, about Scientology. You know what is Scientology? Yeah, you know, right? That's a new religion. So one day, last year, he was 12, he called me and said, hey, you know what? I have to talk to you. And he called his mother. He called me and took us to the patio, to the backyard. And he said, I want to tell you something. I don't want to go to church anymore. I don't believe in God. I believe in science. And I'm like, okay. I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh. But I just told him, you know what? Fine. You have to go to church. Believe whatever you want to believe right now. But you're not stopping going to church with us. That's a fact. While you live in this house, you're going to church. Okay? And... You have to create your own concept. Don't let me um, wait a minute. Don't let me uh, tell you what you have to do. Don't let social media tell you what to do. You have to um, okay. You have to create your own concept. Give me just a minute, okay? Solo un minuto, chicos. Tengo que solucionar una situación. Ok, sorry, guys. So... That's what I will say. So let's go. Let's practice. Number one, how were you raised? What was different? Number two, how are kids being raised? 
Okay, how are kids being raised nowadays or how are you raising your kids? Give examples, you know, like I teach them through videos. I use the internet to teach them. Okay, questions? Questions? No. Bien, si lo notaron, espero, no sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer. Son dos preguntas básicas. ¿Cómo te criaron? ¿Cómo estás creando tus hijos? ¿O cómo están siendo creados los hijos de hoy? Eh, si lo notan, vamos a comparar dos generaciones muy distantes. ¿Cuáles son? What are the generations that we're comparing? Gen X. And millennials and Gen Alpha, I think. Really? I will say, yeah, Generation X and Alpha or Zennials because you're in the middle. But, right? You were raised as a millennial, you were raised by Xers, and your kids you are like being. Generation again. Okay. Yeah, that, that's. I my I... kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell me. Let's leave it that way. You tell me which generations, what's the difference, right? Got it? No. Okay, let's do it then. I'll just split you in three groups. Necesito que los, que todos participen, por favor. Quiero ser bien enfático en esto. Yo entiendo que muchos están trabajando, pero colaborenme en esto, por favorita, porque... Es muy probable que haya un grupo en el que hayan tres y al final solo dos participen. Ok, so let's do it. Let's try. <música> Mario, let's go. All right. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I was. <laughs> I was. Uh, my. My education. Yeah. And my 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 father uh, is hungry. Was was <laughs> hungry. Strict. Yeah. Um, but uh, what about uh, the first question? Uh, I'm, I'm how great. are you raising your kids? ¿Cómo está usted educando? In English, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> it's a difference. Uh, in my case, uh, for my edu for, for education for my kids, okay. it's different. Uh, Hey, yes, a uh, uh, old way, old I has, I has a old way. The principio, no sé cómo se dice principio. Pero no principio de de. Teacher, cómo se dice principio de de. Values. De, de, de Algo así. Religious values. Ah, religious, religious values. values. Yes. Uh -huh. um, <sighs> but it's a no, 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 no exagerados, exactly. No, 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 no
Not overreacting. Not, exa not exaggerate. No, not exact, exaggerated. Exaggerated. Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, I only have one, one girl. <laughs> but she's she's uh, almost the uh, legal age, but but uh, he trying with my wife to uh, to give the necessary in the school, but we uh, make emphasize and she doesn't need it. She didn't need a cell phone when, when she were 15, 16 years. When she was. When she was. Okay. When she was uh, because uh, we, we, we talk about uh, social media for kids is, is bad. I think uh, she, she learns uh, many things, but into the content, I... Dinner or the, or the lunch, and we, uh -huh. and, and we turn, turn on the, the, tel, the television. Television, so, turn. Yeah, turn suddenly, television. suddenly we, we left the, the table. We 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 didn't eat at the table, so mm -hmm. we come to in in the table. Uh, how how no um take 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 dinner or lunch or yeah. for some yeah oh, okay. but have I dinner mean, have lunch have have lunch <laughs> sorry when, have dinner I... and have lunch. But suddenly, uh, we, uh, I put the air conditioning in, in my older daughter's, my oldest daughter, room. So uh -huh. we use the you we use her room to do everything. So we put some table uh, in the in the room. We turn on the television. We we eat in the room, and that's the thing that I never did when I was uh, younger, because my my parents never left me to take the 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 food in the in my room. How so in you? That's yeah. that's maybe some in the in the room. The difference that that's maybe some of the difference that. How I uh you I you permit 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 no? yeah, maybe maybe that also yeah maybe that per, 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 permit permission permit how, how do you say uh, that permission permission okay that permission uh huh that permission okay maybe it's because also I I'm like to see television. Watch and because okay, I like to watch television, and because I when I was kid, I never mm -hmm. saw or watch the television while I was eating. So maybe yeah. now I can't do it because I'm a parent, <laughs> and maybe I I I'm teaching my daughters uh maybe a bad habit because i, I, I i'm it's by habit yes i
مفيش We are uh, the comparison. Okay. In the case of Sylvia, uh, she was raised with her, with her grand grandmother. Um, was very strict, and um, when when she born, uh, the grandmother was sixty five years old. Um, in my case, I have two kids, one of five years old and another of six months. Um, I don't think uh, I was raised with my mom and um, my grandmother. She was lovely, like all, like all, all grandmothers do. Um, I think uh, I try to restrict a lot of TV, not all TV, no, a lot of, of screen, like like game cell phones to my oldest kid. Yeah. Only that. That's it. Yes. I don't know if Sylvia can want to be uh, agree something. No. My in in my case, um, my grand grandmother, either a, she was very, very strict, and with I with I with my daughter. I um say I I try I try uh, make the thing very different. Uh, she 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 has six years and I pay attention are you necessary it is very different uh when to when I was be, was a child. Ah, only. when you when you were a, a child. Uh -huh. That's it. Is Diana here? I guess Diana is working, right? Okay. And you, teacher? <laughs> I already spoke too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the others have to say. Let me bring Marilena here. Okay, let me see if everybody's ready. Ask Marilena the questions, okay? Marilena, are you here? Yes, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Marilena. Hi. Okay, we are talking about how was your childhood against how you raised? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the question is, how you raise and how you raise your kids? How? In my case, I was raised with my mom and my grandmother. 
Um, my grandma treat uh, me very softly. I play in the all days, all afternoon in the park, in the street. Um, I have two kids, one of uh, of five years old and another for six months. Just six months. So I try to limit all all kind of of screen to my older kids, uh, like a uh, cell phone or tablet. Do you have kids, Marivana? Yes. Do, oh yeah, of course I, I, I see your pictures. <laughs> How you raise it? Uh, mm, well, raise it mm, es como crianza, como lo, como lo creas. <laughs> Rice is. Crianza. Yes, correct. Mm, well, <laughs> 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 because um, the young in certain years, um, in general, um, I try speak with they um offer different um strategic or sports or activities and the young uh, choice for the moment volleyball but um other child other men young men <laughs> uh, is difficult for the moment he don't he doesn't. want anything he doesn't anything um, tomorrow <laughs> we go to the psychologist and this night uh, he is staying home her father um, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> tonight he's staying at his father's. His, yes. Tonight, tonight he's staying tonight at his father's. Staying with her father, her father. And it's difficult because we are divorced. Um, my, my, um, no coincidimos en la forma de crianza con él ni en un montón de cosas. Uh -huh. and, and for this, uh, my son prefer stay in house the her father. Mm -hmm. But mm, I have um, me lo tiraba o o no o, o nos nos da she punish <laughs> but nowadays is different because the the kids are alert don't push me don't push me okay yes yeah, yeah. the, right? the video and the social media there are many uh, information is uh, i consider is good information but the uh, the generation is like a crystal because uh, the kids don't, don't like receive punish <laughs> uh, nowadays. But in my case, I yes, I for sure I, I punish uh, sometimes physical <laughs> uh, to my to my daughter. But uh, I I don't I, I don't like I don't I didn't like to punish her. But I prefer I I teacher prefer 
in past? How do you say? Preferred. I, I prefer. Prefería, prefería en pasado. I used to prefer. I you ah okay I used to prefer uh, to punish with uh, don't give them uh, money money uh, money for school. <laughs> you are punished. I don't. You're punishing them. You are punishing. Yeah. Uh, for today, I don't, I will, I will, I want, I won't give, I won't give you money for school. <laughs> just, just the, 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 the breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to prefer this type of punish. Yes, and I, and, and I, I was a, how do you say, teacher? Cariñoso? Caring. Yeah, it was. I just prefer caring with, with her. And I consider she she was grow, growing up with values. Don't perfect, but... Not perfect. Mm -hmm. Not perfect, but uh, I consider uh, with with values that is important for 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 her for my daughter <laughs> okay let's go back Okay, I think we're all back, almost, yeah. Good, so we are 11, we are 10, um, my favorite number. So remember, to, Monday is our last class, it's not today, it's Monday. La última clase es el lunes, señores, okay? No se les olvide terminar la plataforma si no lo han hecho. Muchos ya la terminaron, thank you very much for that. But don't forget, if you are not done with the platform yet, go to englishcorporativo.net and do your stuff. So right now, let's go with some reading, okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a text on the screen. And you will read the text. Now, there are some texts, you know, it's not just one, it's like three or four uh, that we have to read. And what I want you to do is if you don't know a word, okay, just say it. Go to Google, open the Google Translate, you know, here you are, okay. So here we are. This is the first set, a simple gap analysis. So, espero que hayan entendido lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Voy a ir eligiendo uno por uno para que me ayude a leer. Y si hay una palabra que no le entendemos, en inglés, alguien nos la va a explicar. Cualquier compañero va a ir a Google Translate, 
va a tratar de darle lógica, ¿ok? Vamos a aprender muchísimo ahorita porque vas a descubrir que si, por ejemplo, tú traduces solamente una palabra, luego quieres hallarle sentido a la oración y es necesario que lo hagas. O sea, no puedes quedarte solo con el significado de la palabra y decir, ah, ya entiendo más o menos lo que dice, no. What's the meaning? What are they saying? Porque a veces, aunque traduzcas la oración por completo, puede que la oración o lo que se quiere expresar tenga otro sentido. Ok, u otro contexto. So let's do it. I'm going to start with Susana Beatriz. A question. Just yes. a little question. Do you have, uh, do you use uh, Google Translator to translate uh, some words or? Yeah, yeah, I use mm, sometimes. Sometimes. I, I, I mean, uh, you haven't used another translator or another because another translator. I I think I gave you a dictionary last time. It was hold on, reverso. Ah, uh, yeah, reverso. Yeah, because rever there is reverso and also I, I just only think context is another translator that they they not only give you the translation but gives you uh, an example to use it in different mm -hmm. ways uh, the same word yeah exactly and that's the point right now so in english you have to explain to the class what is the meaning so let's start reading i'm going to start for example the topic a simple Gap analysis. Gap. Teacher, I don't know what is gap. What is gap? Everybody? What is gap? Yo no sé nada ahorita. Ustedes tienen que hacer esto, okay? So, what is gap? Generation? Mm -hmm. mm, no. Google that, it. No, it's a similar objective. Objective. No. No. Stop get stop guessing. Research. Research. That's the point right now. Investigate. What is the meaning of the word that you don't know? It's a kind of uh, a gap is is a, a difference between something that uh between two things. Hmm. Come on, look for synonyms. How can you describe the word gap? Gap maybe is something that divides divide two parts. Two parts. Yes. Hmm. Gap. No? One more. No Spanish. That's the point. What is a gap? Uh, you take a point and take other points. Um, distance in between this point is this. Okay. There you go. That's what I want to hear. Be creative. Is the distance is the empty space between mm. two objects. Me lo acabo de inventar. I just made it up. I just Break. made it up. Break. The distance, the empty, what, what did I say? The empty space between two objects. Oh. That is the a gap. Is the empty space between two objects. That's a physical description. But in this context, a gap is the empty is the same. It's just the emptiness, something that is missing in between the two generations. Okay, so let's start. Susana, go. Okay. I sense it that we have two camps looking at each other across a great divide uh, with warriors, suspicion and frustration. Please. 
Thank you. Sí, con... Okay. I sense. Susana, I sense. Sense. I sense. I sense. I sense. Uga chaka, uga, uga, uga chaka, uga, uga, uga chaka. I can stop this feeling deep inside of I, me. I sense that. I see, I think. Ah. Um, who can I feel? I, I, I think. Uh, in the future. The I future? think in the future. Mm, For no. example, no. For sense, feel. Yo, feel. Yo feel. Okay, no Spanish. Exactly. Sorry. I sense. <laughs> I sense. I, I, I feel that we have two camps. Looking at each other, looking at each other. Okay. Other, uh, looking at each other across a great divide with a wear. I'm sorry, with weariness. Weariness. What is weariness? I don't know how to explain that, but is when you act uh, trying to avoid make some mistakes. Perfect. That's it. That's one of the concepts. When you don't trust, when you don't trust something or someone. Yeah. Or you act um, being very careful to avoid a mistake. Correct. Okay. So again, I sense that we have two camps looking at each other across a great divide with weariness, suspicion, and frustration. 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 Okay. Great job. Let's go with Mario Jose Valle. Let me see. I'm going to split this text here. Okay. The Gen X baby boomer side is focused on the organization they lead. Profit and loss. Revenue, growth, filling up in positions, developing employees, and improving work cultures among myriad other issues related to running a business. Excellent, thank you. Now repeat with me. Focus. Focus. Slow, slow, slow. Focused. Focus. Better, focused. Focused. Better, good job. Emphasize, remember, there is only one stressed syllable. Developing. Developing. Mm -hmm. You see? Developing, no, developing. Employees. Developing. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one, revenue. Revenue. Yeah, stresses on the first syllable. Cultures. Cultures. Good job. Cultures, cultures, cultures. Just don't don't forget. Karma, 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 Leon. Right? Culture, <laughs> culture club. Culture yeah. club. You got it. Okay. The Gen X baby boomers side is focused on the organizations they lead. Profit and loss. Revenue growth. Filling open positions, developing employees, and improving work cultures among myriad other mm -hmm. issues related to running a business. What is myriad, guys? I don't know.
Uh oh, oh. I just got it stuck with that saw in my head. Uh huh. Well, Google said a very large number of something. An average number or of something. So, among many other issues, what is a synonym for myriad? There is, that there is a lot of variedad variety variety no spanish vari variety that there is an infinity uh -huh. an infinity number of something among many among many other issues we could say many okay Related to running a business. So, okay. I hope you're understanding this. The Generation X is focused on running a business. That's it. Because, and I, I want to emphasize on this, guys. Don't lose focus on these topics. Because this is going to help you a lot. Understanding other people. The Xers, the Senials, were raised on difficult times, tough times, economic failures, you know, um, catastrophes, war catastrophes, war, world wars, you know, even on the 70s, there were still civil wars. So don't don't lose focus on that, you know, keep that in mind when you think about the essentials. So that's why they learned that they had to make money. They have to um be strong they're strong even more than millennials let's continue with wendy maribel okay then again why seem to have basically different work expectations compared compare to their predecessors as Dr. Elmore writes in his art, uh, article, 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 the phrase, pay your dust. It is strongly mm, disliked by this new newer generation where where that was the working life mantra of my generation <laughs> thank you wow that's that's very important so again generation or gen y seems to have repeat wendy vastly Vastly. 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 Bien. Este Lee. día bueno. <laughs> Excelente. Vastly. Ahí está. Este día vamos a corregir la L, chicos. Es tan fácil como poner la punta de la lengua, enrollando la lengua, la punta de la lengua en la parte um, posterior, sería, de sus dientes superiores. Entonces, enrollamos la lengua y en esta palabra lo que va a ocurrir es que tus labios se van a abrir. So, vastly, 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 vastly. Quiero que alguien me diga una palabra en español que esté compuesta por T, L y vocal. Completamente. No, 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 donde sea, al principio, al final, T, L y vocal completamente oh <laughs> yes thank you <laughs> I was like what yeah the full word <laughs> completamente en lo cierto okay uh huh that's completely completely okay completely. Atlanta Atlanta At Atlántico Right? So not, not common words. Okay. Vastly. 
different work expectations compared to there, there. Wendy? Nope, can't hear you. There. There. Repeat, Wendy. There. Compared there. to their predecessors. Predecessors. Repeat, compared to their predecessors. Compared to their pre predecessors. You got it. Okay, as Dr. Elmore writes in his article, article. 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 You got it. Article. Article. The phrase, pay your dues. Pay your dues. Mm -hmm. Pay your dues. Dues. Okay. Really quick. Repeat, Wendy. Disliked. Disliked. Newer. 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 Hmm? And last, warious. Warious. You got it. Okay. Sorry. Warious. Just listen to. Okay. I paid my dues time after time. I've done my sentence, but committed no crime. Uh huh. But my mistakes, I had a few. Right? <laughs> exactly, Mario. You got it. We are the champions, my friends. On Monday, we have to sing that song. Okay. So, what 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 is that? Seems seems what? Pay your dues. We, yeah, we're gonna get there. What what seems in English? Maybe likes. Like? Like uh, with uh, comparison. Um, yeah, compare to. Huh? It's a comparison. Very good. Okay, seems to have vastly. What is vastly? It's a lot of. It's a lot of. Uh, Excellent. A lot of different work expectations compared to their predecessors. As Dr. Elmore writes in his article, the phrase, pay your dues, is strongly disliked by the newer generation. They don't like, millennials don't like to pay their dues. What, what does that mean, pay your dues? What do you understand by pay your dues? Mm, well... Green chocolate, pay what you want. <laughs> <laughs> really? Toma chocolate. Like that. Is. is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's a song. Okay. It's like a debt. A debt. You're a debt. Is this? Yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. But this, this has a huge meaning. You know, do what you have to do. Do what you have to do. Don't, and literally, don't owe any money. Don't owe favors. So always pay, pay your debts. Pay your dues, your responsibilities. Let me take a screenshot really quick and send it to your WhatsApp. So this was for, for the first part. Come on, guys. You have to get it straight. Where are you? Here you are. Princess of the universe. Here we belong. 
why am I thinking about Queen? So, oh my God. Give me one second. I'm copying the second text. So, whoop. we're going to just see this two more. And then we're going to give our own advices on how to bridge their generational gap. This is too big, isn't it? No, it's good enough. That's good. You see? Our wording. Okay. So let's continue. Let me see who's next on the line. I had Mario. I have Wendy. Um, let's go with Manuel. Guys, would you mind if I stand up for 10 seconds? Would you mind if I move for 10 seconds? So the mosquitoes are eating me. Give me just a minute, okay? <laughs> okay, teacher. Kill the mosquito. I'm really sorry, but I'm wearing shorts and I just cleaned the house before having the class, you know, so I guess that that that's bad for mosquitoes. And I got some alcohol on my legs right now. So let's move on. Gen Y COVID. OK, who's next? Manuel. Uh, OK, I read the whole thing. Go ahead. Uh, OK. Gen Y COVID, among other things, work-life balance, schedule, flexibility, belief in the company mission, and access to and tra transparency of all information. There is a fundamental shift here from my entry into the work workforce more than two Decades, decades ago when working 70 hours weeks, climbing the corporate ladder and the phrase hard work will take your far where the norm of the day. <laughs> Good job, Manuel. Very close. Okay. Yeah. Ironically, you were able to read COVIDs very well. That's that's good. Oh, what about schedule? Schedule. schedule. Good. Schedule flexibility. Belief in the company mission and access to and transparency of all information. There is a fundamental shift here from my entry into the workforce more than two decades ago well, no, decades, decades ago ago decades ago better decades ago when working 70 hour weeks 70 hour weeks repeat with me i work 44 hour weeks I work 44 hour weeks. You got it? Yeah, here in El Salvador, we work 44 hour yes. weeks. Okay, repeat, climbing. Climbing. Mm -hmm. To the corporate ladder. The corporate ladder. 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 There you go, R-E-R, -E -R, ladder. Okay, and the phrase hard work will take you there. Hard work will take you there. Try, try to do this, guys. Hard work will take you there. Hard work will take you far. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sorry. Hard work will take you far. Hard work will take you far. 
better. Hard work where? What's wrong here? When you use two W's followed one by after the other, it's difficult. Work well, work well, work will take you far. Okay, hard work will take you far. Where like the a norms... worldwide web? Or <laughs> yes, world wide web. Exactly, world wide web, www. Good job. And the same thing, no, world wide, no, world war two, world war two, world war world world and that that's a way to practice it all this okay new words do i change this things uh, format uh-huh covets covets what where are covets oh i found it here yeah jane jane why covets i guess it's like being, being, being or being, no, being. Being, being. Being ambitious. Yeah, that's a synonym, exactly. Ambitious. Among other things, work-life balance, schedule, flexibility, belief. Uh-huh, anybody else? Ambitious. Any other word? Greedy. Diana? Uh, greedy. Where is it? No, I mean, COVID, it's another synonym. Oh, oh, okay. Greed. Greed. Yeah, I got you. There, There's a song from Pearl Jam, my favorite band in all, of all times. Greed. Right, Diana? I think that's what you're trying to say, greed. Being ambitious, that those are synonyms, very good. Okay, ladder, I believe everybody knows what is a ladder, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So a ladder is similar to a stairs, right? To the stairs. Let's go with T some- t yep. I hey. have heard a word that is echelon. What? Echelon. Echelon, like a escalon, but uh, I guess I heard in a context like uh, I don't know, is like a uh, one part of the uh, in the society, like a you are climbing or moving up. It's, it's like I don't know. Is uh, you haven't heard that word echelon? Hmm. Hmm. I got your point, but I can't remember how you write it. I guess is as. C-H-E-L-O-N, I guess so. I, I I haven't seen the writing, but I only heard the word, and it's me attention to know what to read the, the... No, I got your, I got your point. I mean, you have to climb the S clones of society that was a good example i'll look into it because yeah i don't have a way to find it right now i haven't find it okay uh the steps you call them steps on the stairs mario the stairs there are 20 steps on the stair and that's why you will hear the phrase watch your step watch your steps just to advise you, okay. Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Our roadmap to bring the generation. 
So where do we go from here? What is your call to action? What is theirs? We can move forward with arms folded and fingers pointed at each other from our respective camps. Following that path will lead to disaster for our companions. And the economy, we need to reach across the divide and find common ground. Uh, it will take comprom compromise, cross and commitment for each generation to make this work. Sorry. Excellent. Good. Don't worry. Great job. Okay. So, yeah. Breach. Bridge. Bridge. Good job. Under the bridge. Red hot chili peppers. Under the bridge. Here. Here. Now repeat with me. At each other. At each other. Again. At each other. 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 You got it. Repeat with me. Path. Path. That path will lead to disaster. That path will lead to disaster. Uh, that path will lead to disaster. Will lead to disaster. You got it. Pronunciation. Remember, companies. Companies. Let's see. Compromise. Compromise. Yeah, there's always one syllable stressed. Great job. Thank you. So our roadmap, thank you, Marilena, a roadmap to bridge the generations. So where do we go from here? What is our call to action? What is theirs? We can move forward with arms folded, okay? With arms folded, okay? And fingers pointed at each other from our respective camps, following, following, following that path will lead to disaster for our companies and the economy. We need to reach across the divide and find common ground. It will take compromise, trust, and commitment from each generation to make this work. So this is what it has taken. It's not easy. Um, it wasn't easy, I will say. Um, you know, and it's just that this is very remarkable i mean you can see it on society how old people let's say the x generation old people um have trouble dealing with the new generations because and this is common i mean let me explain you have you heard of a rock band called Twisted Sister? Twisted Sister? Anybody? Who's, who's saying huevos con aceite? Huevos con aceite. That's right. Hello, huevos con aceite. Mexico. They did it. Man, that was awful. They they really... And, and they, they end up singing huevos con aceite because Mexicans were not saying, we're not going to take it. Right? That's amazing. Okay, so yeah, Twisted Sister. There are two two videos. That's one of them. That's one of them. We're not going to take it. Oh, no, three videos. Come on, feel the noise. Come feel the noise. Girls, rock you boys. And I want to rock. I want to rock was the first hit. And the three videos involved a father. A parent from the silent generation, listen to this, a parent from the silent generation raising his kid from the X generation. And he starts screaming, right? What are you going to do with your life? Right? Just watch the video. It's really funny because it's true. I mean, 
X generations, they were raised with screams, you know, with authority. You had to behave in society, be a doctor, be a lawyer, right? And that's the, the result is that at least in El Salvador, there's a lot of lawyers, a lot of a lot of um, doctors, right? And so on. And now there are not too many kids studying for, you know, to become doctors. Uh, something that you say a few minutes ago that uh, this generation uh, grew up uh, with the uh, war and everything. I heard something, I don't know if name a, a proverb or something like that, but I, I heard that the oh. hard hard times create a strong man. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. It's kind of cycle that you are making with, or we are making it, or you, we are making with the We're doing the life, yeah. We're doing that with life. Yeah, that's an amazing video. And it's true. I mean, when times were difficult, we used to become stronger to, as a society, right? As a society, we had to become stronger during the war, for example, or the uh, economical recessions. Um, and then soft times, you know, easy times where everything is right in front of you you have everything you have access to a car you have access to a job money everything is accessible then we have weak men nowadays it's just the crystal generation as manuel was saying the crystal generation everything is oh my god you hurt my feelings i i mean yeah have you ever said that mario you you look very very macho man, Mario. Have you ever said <laughs> you, you just hurt my feelings, man? No, I never. But uh, actually, I have two daughters, two girls, <laughs> uh, and I always have. Uh, how do you say, like, in control or rush with my wife because sometimes I I speak with my older daughter. Uh, but some the most of the time, I'm just joking, mm -hmm. and I always uh told her that everything that I'm doing is creating a a strong behavior on her. Mm -hmm. I always uh told her or tell her that uh, all the things that I've said to her, she will hear in the school from somebody and that's going to be uh, hard and that's why I'm, I'm telling her because in order to she understand how to canalize the, the thing that the we 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 were talking in the beginning in order to canalize what the other people you cannot control what the other people tells to you so you have to learn to canalize what they are saying and I always joking with this I try to be hard with them with the two of my daughter. I try to be hard in order to they understand that it doesn't matter what the or don't pay attention to the people say and be like whatever you say you can you can say whatever because if if the another the person that is molestando is bothering you bothering you yeah it's bothering you uh they know that that makes uh make you mad they will continue doing the same until the time that you look okay say whatever 
that's always say to to her and until you show them that you don't care yeah okay totally that's what i what i'm trying to teach xavier xavier is as i told you is his mecha corta yes yeah. the definition so he has to change that mindset you know exactly okay let me just rearrange this i will send you this article so you can read it because on monday we have our parcial what <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh my god, I'm I'm in the university. This is a nightmare. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Man, do you remember those days going to the university and uh oh, I have a, an exam tomorrow. Uh, I'm still in. <laughs> I'm dreaming. Oh my god, I have to make this bigger and I cannot see it. Just a minute. And I think I went too far. Almost. Sorry, guys. My bad. That's not going to work. Yeah. Almost there. Almost there. Almost got it. I'm trying to fit it to the screen. So we can take a screenshot later. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's the best I can get. Okay. So let's finish this. And I will continue with the rest of the points. I'm going to have... Let me see, Silvia, you're always quiet, or Norma, whoever you prefer. Okay. Okay. Recommendation for Gen X of baby boomers. It doesn't require a radical makeover of our belief, values, and organizational structure to prepare then then why why for leadership they view the world differently but so did we at the beginning of our career remember to listen and engage and flex where appropriate and tap into the enormous potential of this young mind but all in the frame framework of what the business needs. Perfect, you got it. Structures, Struc structures, structures. Structures. You got it, structures. And engage. 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 ¿Cómo se llama el actor Nicolas qué? Cage. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Engage, cage. Okay. Wow. So from Generation X to Baby Boomers, they recommend us not to change our beliefs. I mean, we, we can continue with that. Um, and we have to prepare Generation Y for leadership. I don't know if you ever had a good mentor in your life. And that's a topic for Monday to close the, the module. Think about, you know what? That's a homework for Monday. Take notes. Come to the class on Monday with a brief description, you know, of someone that you admired as a teenager, you know, for example, in my case, his name was Jose Vicente Rodrigo, no, Jose Vicente Rodriguez Arevalo, it was my uncle. And he was the, the smartest man I have ever met. He had like two careers and other diplomas on, on many things. I mean, he was really smart. He was humble. Although he was very smart, he was very humble too. And he was very uh, caring for me. So I admired him. And that's why I became a teacher, actually. I didn't realize, but I, I saw him. I saw him teaching Not English, he was he used to teach something else, but I admired him alone. He changed a lot. He changed my life basically. He taught me, he built me, he made me the man I am. So talking about that, continuing with twisted sister. What are you gonna do with your life? That saying, you know, 
the previous generation went through that saying. We went through that saying as millennials. We had someone screaming in our face, you know, think about the future. Y si no tenías a alguien gritándote en la cara, ¿qué vas a hacer de tu vida? Tenías a Miguel Mateos, right? Ne, 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 ¿Qué vas a hacer cuando seas grande? Right? You had the radio. Everybody wanted to know what were you going to do when you grow up? Oh, a bomber, a doctor, a lawyer. Okay. Etc. So, a recommendation from the Generation X to Baby Boomers from baby boomers, you know, or the generation X, start listening and stop assuming this is something that you have to do at work. Stop just listening. I mean, start listening. Stop assuming. This is very common when an employee comes to you if you are a boss and you think you know this person because he has worked for many months already in the company. So you know him. He's always getting sick, asking for permissions, right? So what do you do? When you see him, you go like, oh, here comes Mario again. He needs a permission, most likely. I'm assuming beforehand. I'm assuming that this person is like that. Be present on college and high school campuses. Be present on college and high school campuses. Uh, want to make a difference in how they view the workplace? Talk with this generation and share your expectations. Help them manage theirs. Don't wait until they show up for their first interview and be shocked by don't act like we did at that age. You know, it's like, this is like, don't forget where you came from. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget that you were a John, a teenager too, you know, that you, you went through that as well, the way millennials act. Now, keep in mind that we are giving recommendations to the, Xers to the Centennials or baby boomers, you know, on how to deal with millennials. Start viewing millennials as a strategic business investment. You have to think. I mean, um, Centennials need to see millennials as if they will add value to the company because they will. They will do. They will add value to the company. Scrap, do as I say, not as I do. Who can tell me what's scrap? What's the meaning of scrap? Okay, and you can use this uh, as a saying, guys. Scrap that. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Scrap that. Scrap that. Okay. Deshacer. Okay. Undo. Undo. You have to scrap the saying, do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Don't do what I'm doing. Just do what I'm telling you to do. You don't have to repeat this to a millennial. Just let them do the things. Just explain them. You know, they will get it. Smart organizations will learn to tap into their potential. Smart organizations will learn to tap into their potential. And again, meaning that smart organizations will know how to use millennials. Let me give you a clear example of this. If your company is smart, if your company is smart, they will use millennials, for example, to manage social media okay to manage facebook uh, twitter the other thing what do you call it instagram instagram <laughs> exactly with which purpose for example i don't know how to do some things in instagram 
But if I'm the boss and I need someone to do it, I will look for someone young, you know, hey, uh, come here, Federico. Do you know how to use Instagram? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So you're going to be in charge of the social media in this company, the social media for the company. So we're going to use that as a marketing strategy and promote the, the company through social media. Okay, recommendations from for the millennials. For the millennials. Uh, okay, Silvia. It's your time to shine. <clears throat> Recommendation for Jen White. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you are the kid, you are the new kids on the block, bus in number, and the future is yours. But today's business leaders hold the case to that future. They have experience and insight, which you need to be successful, listen, engage, and be flex flexible. <clears throat> this advice uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. <laughs> yeah, continue. Uh, apply, no sé. Okay, applies. Applies to both camps. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. You mm -hmm. are the new kids on the block. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Vast in number, and the future is yours. But Today's business leaders hold the keys, repeat keys, to that future. Repeat future. Future. Few future. Future. Better, future. They have experience and insights. Repeat insights. 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 Good job. Which you need to be successful. Listen, engage, and be flexible. This advice, repeat, advice. Advice. Applies. Applies. In both camps. Yes. In both camps. Okay. Any new words? All right. So, yeah, what's up, Mario? Teacher, uh, at least not, not new word, but I don't understand I, I usually use the word advice but sometimes i know that there is advice like the like this would say an advice with with s but i don't get when have to use one or the other because i know the advice is like a consejo mm -hmm. and the advice with with s is the what we do with our kids aconsejar my advice to like, you and advice to someone else that there is there is where the difference lies when you give advice and when you need advice it's like I advise you to do this. Okay. This is see. my advice. Now, with an S is a verb. Let's see it this way. And that is the way. With an S is a verb. With a Z as in Charlie, with the C as in Charlie, is a noun. noun. <laughs> I advise you to give advice to your wife, sister, whatever. Okay. I advise you to give advice to your sister. And Te aconsejo que with, le des consejo a tu hermana, que asesores okay. a tu hermana. But with C cannot be plural, right? I mean, with C can be plural. Can you do uh, right now, right can now. you give advices? 
Yeah, exactly. With C, you can you can put advices, but with S, no, right? With S, it's only advice. That's it. Give some advice. I, I don't think you can pluralize that, but yeah, actually you can do it. So here it is. I advise you to give some advices to your sister. Scrap is like a piece of, or, or slice. No, Marilena, scrap, scrap is to undo, to undo something, to forget, nice. um, to scratch off something. Héroe del silencio, deshacer el universo, right? This is el mundo. I can remember. Okay, scrap, scrap. This is it. But that—that's like scrap that, and that's a saying, Marilena. Scrap that. Oh, I'm sorry. Scrap that. I made a mistake. Okay. Good. Yep. I think you got it. Okay, let's finish. So um, having perspective is important, okay? Perspective, what does it mean? Millennials, when you have an old person, let me give you a clear example on this one. My father, my father is always trying to correct me. I'm 41 years old and it's difficult. It's becoming difficult to pay attention to his words. But I still do it because I love him with all my heart. But it's difficult sometimes because he repeats the same story over and over. <laughs> and I go like, did I tell you about this? And I was like, yes, yesterday. Actually, yesterday we talked about this. Oh, really? But, you know, it's very important. And I'm like, okay, man. Fine. <laughs> I just listen. But I, he's always right, okay? So perspective is important. Don't assume that you know everything as millennial. Always listen. Now, perspective has many, is a, is a very wide topic. And in a field, um, in, in this field, on the business field, the perspective of an of a senior person has to be considered most of all when you're decision making, you know, when you're taking decisions. Because they have the experience. They have the experience. Um, another example, my engine, my engine, if I would have listened to someone with experience telling me, no, don't go there. Let me do the, the engine for you, you know. I should have listened to that person, but someone with experience. Be patient, as I was saying, you know, my father, you have to be very patient with seniors, especially. Just listen to them, even if they already said that before, pay attention. Maybe you missed something. Look at relationships and communication differently. So the way you perceive things, um, is different than senials do. And, and for example, social media again, you know, senials have some trouble managing social media. We don't do that. You know, millennials are more adaptive and that's true. We, we, we adapted better to technology. A clear example to this is that, do you remember the TICS, technology of communications? Tecnología y Comunicaciones, I think is the name in Spanish, TICS, right? At the university, they used to teach you that. Senials took classes on PCs. We haven't taken classes to use cell phones or tablets, but we can do it, right? So how did we learn to learn to use a tablet? Uh, let me see, Diana, how did you learn to use an iPhone or a smartphone? 
Norma? I'm looking for young people. Okay. Nobody taught you, you know, you didn't go to school to learn to use a smartphone, right? You just did it. So we did we, 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 my I, nephew I only only scratched the the cell phone in I don't know intuitive. Yeah, it's an instant, right? Intu intuitively, intuitively. That's a difficult word. Okay, we just learn it. It's like if we had a chip, you know, and that's okay. So, convey respect while pursuing goals. Convey. What do you understand by convey? Okay. I'm going to define convey for you this phrase. Convey respect while pursuing goals. Respect the people before you. And there is a book that says stand, stand on giant's shoulders. Okay, stand on giant's shoulders. Meaning that if, if you're trying, for example, to lose weight, if you're trying to go to the gym, are you going to follow somebody who did, went to the gym? For example, I like to know about Arnold Schwarzenegger, his story, you know, how he became Mr. Olympia and everything. I mean, that's a very admirable story. So following that person that's standing on giant's shoulders. So if I follow him and understand what he eats, what his diet, you know, I may become Mr. Olympia too, right? For example. <laughs> okay. And the last one, pursue mentors and advocates. The same thing. If you're going to the gym, you need to um, follow a mentor, get a mentor and a body, you know, get get a friend who can go with you to the gym, etc. Okay, I hope you learn new words on this class. I'm about to send you this to your WhatsApp and also the article where I found this information because it's not mine, of course. I don't make up everything from my mind. This is a good lecture if you want to read something later. Mm hmm okay if i did it now i i don't know if i will later <laughs> if i will do it later oh my god okay guys that's well, the end of your uh-huh 2005 no 2006 más o menos estoy en el call center trabajando de 12 de la noche a 8 de la mañana y me toca llamar al aeropuerto donde vi mi mamá en New Orleans y como ya sé que ahí la mayoría son negritos por mi mamá ¿verdad? o sea me ha contado esas cosas ellos no dicen um, yes man yes sir y ellos dicen huh huh ni siquiera dicen hello when they pick up the phone sino que dicen huh and I called the airport. It was like 3 a.m. in New Orleans. 3 a.m. in New Orleans. And I called and I said, dije, ya me va a contestar una nerita. Seguro que va a ser. Ah. Man, exactly. She picked up the phone and she was like, huh. Ah. I, like, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> oh my God, I never forget that moment. Because I, I started laughing so hard that my coworkers woke up. Se, se, le, se despertaron los demás del piso porque me empecé a reír muy fuerte y eran las 3 de la mañana. It was very funny. Okay. So that was it for tonight. I'm staying with Manuel tonight. Would you like to stay 10 minutes, Manuel? This is our, yeah, Monday is our last class anyways. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Not here today. 
It's Friday and the body knew it. Cristian Nathalie Eraso Rogel. Please turn on your camera, guys. Diana Elizabeth Chereguinho Martinez. Here, good night. Good night. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Didn't make it home. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Mario José Valle Castaneda. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Mario José. Okay. Wait. Wait. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Did I say? Yes. No. <laughs> here. Okay. Thank you. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa, Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Excellent. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel y Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher, good Thank night. You. Have a nice weekend. Same to you and your family. Take care. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Palma, so let, let's do this in English. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so I'm a gringo. Okay. Um, you know, I'm lost. I don't know, uh, where can I go in El Salvador, you know, to have fun? What places could I visit in El Salvador? Ah, okay. Uh... Let me let me tell you uh, you can enjoy uh, I don't know if you if you would like to visit a lake a lake a lake uh, the the sea the beach uh, uh, or a wait park. A, a lake at the beach. Oh, oh, you're asking me if the lake, yes, the beach, or yes. the park. You know, I'm planning to go camping. Camping. If, if that's right. possible in El Salvador. Yes, for sure. Uh, I I will I will you recommend uh, the <laughs> I forgot, teacher. But uh, let me try. The this place is in Chalatenango. Ch Chalate. Chalatenango. What is Chalatenango? I'm sorry. It's in the north of the the country. Chalatenango. So that's a city. No, it's a department. Department. It's a department. Like the fire department. Sorry. Like the fire department or the police department? I'm no, sorry, I'm not. lost. <laughs> it's, a, it's a like a department, a land of, a, I, I don't know, a department, not a like uh all right wait 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 so a wait. department no that's fine i'm not i'm not a teacher i'm a gringo okay i'm trying to go somewhere i don't know but a department in chalatenango oh that that's like a state for example in the united states we have 50 50 states like chicago you know illinois right and then okay. yeah okay i got you i got you so you have states of the state of Chenaltenango, let's say. Yes. Okay. Yes. And the north. you can enjoy of Cerro El Pital. Oh. This is the, the, the coolest place. Co cold? Coldest place. The coldest. Oh, it's cold. Coldest. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can, can I fish? Cold. Right. Uh, you, you know, so, if I can go fishing, can I go fishing? Uh, no, I I guess it's for camping. Just for camping. Because, there are no yes, no rivers. 
Uh, there, is a, there is a rivers in the bounds of uh, the frontier. Frontier? Oh, right. the, the... In frontier? I think you're trying to say the... the yeah, the, the limitation that... Uh -huh. Bounds of El Salvador and... The border, the border. The border, yes. Yes, but I think I think it's it's good to to fish, but the the most the mostly of people uh, they camping because it's cold. Uh, I don't know if you if you if you if you like uh, to to swimming in the river, but it's. I think is is it's cold. Excellent. Okay. Most people. Most people. Most people go camping, to swimming. I don't know if you like swimming. Okay. I don't know if you like swimming. To swimming. Uh. Uh. Agora that to. E -N -G, no, to swim. swim. Or if you like to swim. Or you, if you like swimming. Okay. The mostly of people, they uh, camping. Uh, most people go camping there. Most people go camping there. Not fishing. Okay. Good job. Good job. What? I'm sorry, but what is a cerro? Is it Pital? Hill. Okay, oh, okay. a hill. Good job. A hill. Perfect. A hill. A mountain. A mountain, okay, with oh. a lot of trees. Yeah, I can it's light a up a fire. Picture. It's a, a proper noun, Cerro El Pital. Mm, not Cerro, it's just El Pital. El Pital. Yeah. It's a hill. El hill, Pital mountain. hill. Mountain. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Man, getting there is difficult. Getting to yeah. the Pital. I, I, I think you need to to go on on a truck on a truck or or an all terrain all terrain truck yeah yes all terrain truck the road is a four wheel drive you say a four wheel drive four wheel drive or four by four <laughs> yeah that that's the meaning of four wheel drive yeah. you know i always have this it's a, it's, it's a different in all wheel drive, four wheel drive, and Is four the, by four. Really? Yes, three different way for because all wheel drives all time the car is in movement with the four wheels. Uh -huh. All time. And four yeah. by four, you can push uh, in the modern cars, you can push one bottom and they activate the, the function. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, nice talking. Thank you, teacher. Awesome. Very good. Trying, teacher, teacher uh, I, uh, these, these days, uh, previous days, I was playing with a uh, uh, app for uh, the, the, this app content, uh, the verse. To learn uh, the verbs. Yes, you can you can play play with verbs, and oh my god, the two type of verb. Uh, I don't know, teacher. I forgot. In regulars the and irregulars. Yes, teacher. Yes, mm -hmm. Ir uh, irregular. irregular. Irregular verbs. Yes, in the three three times. Awesome. Yes. yes, whatever you do, if you if you enjoy it. Yeah, for wait, me. What, what 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 did he say? Whatever you do, if you feel the time freezes, then that is something that you love. What do you say, Embes? Albert Einstein. Instead of. Instead of, the, uh, be on. On Twitter, on Facebook, I, Good job. I prefer in this app. Yes. Instead of, okay. 
hagas lo que hagas y si lo, lo que estás haciendo, pues no, cuando encuentres algo que hacer y sientas que el tiempo vuela, cuando lo haces es porque amas hacer eso. Sí, prefiero hacer eso. He tomado No, estas iniciativas. es una frase de Albert Einstein. Like, Ni idea. eso le dijo a su hijo y por eso el hijo aprendió a tocar el violín y a tocar el piano. It's very, very interesting. Ok. Thank you, Manuel, for staying. I'll see you on Monday. Good night. Uh -huh. Good night. First, first, God. First God. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>